Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to a convention that's set inside a camp. Let's go. So just to give you guys a little bit of backstory, so this is a convention that's set in Apopka, Florida. It is in, inside of a camp, and this is actually the first time they're ever hosting this event. So this event is like a regular convention. They have a bunch of different celebrities. They have a lot of vendors. So I'm very excited to see how a convention set inside of a camp is going to be hosted. They actually also have a s'mores type of event that they do kind of like an after party after the convention is over. We will not be attending that, but I would just something that you guys should consider. And as always, guys, if you guys want to see more videos like this, like conventions and different events, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. All right, guys, so we are pulling into the Camp Owiwa. This is where the Apopcon is hosted. So again, this is not a conventional um, con. We ha are here like kind of like parked over here like in a makeshift uh, parking area. Uh, just random like grass area that we're parked in. I um, am seeing a bunch of different um, people already parked. Again, for a convention that is their first time around, I'm seeing a lot of people parked. I'm seeing good attendance just on the cars alone. I do want to see the traffic that is around the area. But I'm super excited to be here. Here in Central Florida, we just have all these conventions, man. And I get to show you guys all these cool events. So, yeah, let's go to it. So over here, this is like kind of like a bonfire setup. The actual con itself or like the event is ho being hosted over there. Over here is the check-in booth where you go ahead and get your tickets for the event. And then moving over there, we're seeing already some booths kind of spread out. Seeing there is an inside area that we can check out. They have food trucks here and everything. So it's looking pretty cool. And they got a gaming lounge in there. That's, pr that's pretty awesome. All right, guys. So over here, they actually have like a haunted cabin in one of these cabins. I, I honestly don't know where to go. Um, that was a check-in over there at this point. They have a person like gaming dice and stuff on this end. They have Artist Alley on the outside where it's like a little pavilion area. And over here, they have vendors and panelists and uh, celebrities where you can meet them inside that main thing. And they said that if you keep going straight is where all the vendors are. So we're going to go ahead and check out this uh, haunted cabin really quickly. And I'm here with my brother today. So oh, <laughs> I, I honestly don't know what to expect. All right, guys, so it's actually not a haunted house. So we were uh, misled. Um, so this is actually where you do like meet and greets with a few of these like horror or paranormal investigator people. So we have B Bill Slevin. He's been on these uh, travel channels and stuff and investigators. And then over here, we actually have Erie, Florida. So if you guys didn't recognize, this was from the Bigfoot convention. We actually saw him and I do remember them telling us that they were gonna be at this convention. And it is haunted here. So this is oh, the haunted yeah. cabin. This is oh, okay. Amber Julia, her ghost. Uh, she, she was bullied here and they took her teddy bear and threw it in the lake no and then she went to get it and drowned oh no her ghost is seen in this cabin Fawny cabin uh several times and the lights will flicker occasionally supposed to show her and we've had them happen a few times today so. oh man but again saying, but you can find us on eerie travels and that's our podcast and doing very well and in our books and here are the art prints as well so we have shown them there if you guys saw the bigfoot con video we actually did show them off so it's great to see them again um yeah we appreciate it yeah also there's uh, there's someone actually running around here uh, <laughs> and of course guys they have the art prints as well they have their books here so definitely come check them out all right guys so over here they have the paranormal existence research society so these are kind of like the members and they have a bunch of really cool equipment usually i'm guessing what they use for paranormal investigation and then over here they have uh the kind of like their banners and stuff where they set up so definitely a pretty cool spot if you're coming to a popcorn they're probably they might be coming next year so definitely go ahead and check them out here's their website and all their social medias um they have a bunch of banners and photos there so definitely really cool to see going inside of this cabin right here and this is the giraffe gaming dice lounge so this person actually makes customized pokemon dice and they go ahead and they sell it so it's actually really cool so over here they have the pokemon go teams so we have team mystic right there team valor and i'm seeing i don't know if those are pins those look really cool it's like uh, dice pins so that's pretty nice i actually enjoy those a lot and then there you can see the custom uh dice depending on like the pokemon so honestly pretty impressive i enjoy that a lot over here, they have different board games. You can see they have some of the little mini binders for Pokemon for the jumbo cards. So that's actually really cool. They have more uh, games over here. And then here is actually their QR code, so Draft Dice. And then back here, they actually have a few Pokemon themed t-shirts. So that's pretty cool. Geodude right there, Slow King, um, Blazing Hot Fire Start. So that's pretty awesome, guys. All right, so here we have Draft Dice. Hey, I'm Alex. 
Alex, nice to meet you guys. We're here at a PopCon today on a Saturday. All the dice are available, different custom collectibles. Come check us out. All right, awesome, man. And then over here again, so they have actually custom keychains over here. They have custom dice. Um, these are dice bags over here, and they actually come with a little pin. Over here, we have little uh, dice pouches as well. We got Bulbasaur, Charmander. These look really cool. And then you got some stickers on this side. And honestly, these pins just look so cool, especially like turning all of these. Uh, I'm guessing these are, yeah, the Evolutions into dices. It's awesome. So definitely come and support and check them out. All right, guys. So over there, they have kind of like a little happy go barbecue sauce plot. And then over here, they have a few food trucks that you guys can check out. I'll rock paper scissors eat so they got a bunch of food here and then moving they got some barbecue some rocks for the barbecue right there and then we actually have some coffee i might go ahead and pick that up uh once we're heading out that looks awesome and then they got cloud nine berries and they actually have an axe throwing uh, uh booth over there you can use and then this is where you guys can see where they have the artist alley so they have quite a few artists set up there so they're selling their uh, artwork and stuff all right guys so here at the popcon they actually have like an official like vendor area they have a bunch of like mystery boxes here a bunch of funko pops so you see a bunch of chase pops right there the sasuke glow chase is pretty cool hopper chase up there uh moving forward they have a bunch of different uh funko pops here as well oh they actually have a emerald city comic con the 3000 piece one um doors right there freddy funko so that's also a really cool one and then moving to the side they also sell like their official uh popcorn shirts and like merchandise so yeah and here they have a bunch of chase pops as well they got the sugar rocky there the ichigo the fully holified one so yeah a lot of different funko pops they got the pennywise fun house right there that one's awesome and they actually go ahead and create their own stands so like the soda stands right there i don't know if you guys have seen them but they actually make their owns right there so they like the way they display the soda and then the actual like uh pock and then the uh can itself is just really cool so all right guys so over here at popcon they have two of treasures they sell a bunch of funko pops they have here um these are decals right so the holographic decals that kind of change like back and forth these are really cool they have smaller decals if you want those and yeah they actually have some giblets here so pretty awesome if we go here they got some pretty cool exclusive funko pops so we got that marcus phoenix there the new york city comic-con fighter pilot um moving over to this side they have that lacc con uh sticker funko pop right there and then ooh, they actually have the doppelganger metallic spider-man down there in the iron patriot so they have some pretty cool ones um seeing there the old faith from valiant so a lot of really cool funko pops at this booth and harder to find ones too all right, so over here um, at this booth in the corner, they have a bunch of really cool Funko Pops. They have right there the Black Cauldron um, Comic-Con exclusive right there. And then moving over here, they have that Zeus right there. That was like that Era one that came out on Walmart. It's pretty cool. The Blue Spirit Chase right there from Avatar Last Airbender is a cool one. They have some signed Funko Pops as well. They got the Edward Elric from Bro uh, Full Alchemist uh, Brotherhood. They actually have some artist um, Pops as well. So that Wolverine one's really cool. And then moving over here, they have even more Funko Pops. They got like some more exclusive ones, like that Arrow one, like that older version is pretty cool. Moving on this side, they got Bullseye from Target. So this is like the one that just came out with like the Spider-Man um, outfit. So yeah, they got a lot of really cool Funko Pops here. So yeah, pretty awesome. All right, guys, over here we have Poke Kick Collectibles and they just have a bunch of graded Pokemon cards here. A lot of really cool ones. Man, they got that Rayquaza VMAX. That one's so cool. The Alolan V, and they're all like, there's all these are like CGC 10. So those are really hard to get. If you guys know, CGC is a very hard grader. And all right, so over here at this convention is where they actually host the panels over here so that you can see that everyone can sit down right there. I have a little sign saying the panels. And this is all of the panels that they had scheduled for today. And then right now they actually have from Dead to Superhuman. So this is, um he's from She hulk and from walking dead and he's actually doing his panel right now over there and now we're gonna go to the uh, vendor booths over there to check out to see what do they have and what vendors uh, are selling stuff so let's go ahead and check it out all right so here we are entering the vendor village um so it's actually past the basketball court i didn't know but they actually have a bunch more vendors set up in the back over here there's uh it's actually you can see the lake from here so that's pretty nice all right, guys, so here at a PopCon, they have a vendor booth over here. They do trading cards. There's Cal's cards. We're here with a little Pokemon. We have our cards here. We got jewelry. We got fan art and snow globes. Those are super cool. And then over here, they have actually a bunch of graded cards right there. They have a binder full of like old, I'm guessing, those are vintage oh, cards yeah, right got, there. You got your vintage got... all the way to your modern. Nice. So over here in the back. Oh, man, I might actually pick up a few singles here today. These look really cool. Nice, nice. Prices, 
These look good. These look good. And then over here, they have PSA graded cards right there. So it's pretty awesome. They also have your sealed product of different uh, Pokemon products. So these are awesome to look at right there. Um, and then moving over here, they got bracelets. There we go. Bracelets. And then they got plushies right there. So it's awesome. And then little earrings too. These little Pokeball earrings. So definitely come check them out. These are pretty awesome. All right, guys. So here at Counts Cards, they hooked it up with one Astral Radiance pack. So we're going to open it up right now and see if we actually got a hit or not. So... All right, go ahead and show the code card right there. One, two, three, four to the front. All right, V Star, Wish Cash, Sweet Honey, Cricket Tune, Cypher, Hisuian Growlithe, Bronzor, Rufflet, Hisuian Quillfish, a Switch Card, and Hey, nice! Going hey, to a Galea Mr. Rhyme! Awesome, guys! Thank you! Nice! Okay. There you go! Hit, guys! Kitty, guys! Thank you! Alright, so coming in here, we have Vader Sabers. So, they, I'm guessing they create their own uh, lightsaber handles over here. They have a few Funko Pops up there. So, these are really nice. Hey, everyone! How's it going? So, Vader Sabers, you're gonna turn it on for us? Ready? Go for it! Nice! Oh, that's amazing! That looks great! Oh man, these look great. And so these are all the handles from iconic characters from Star Wars. Oh, that looks amazing, guys. Great. Nice. So yeah, guys, go ahead and scan them right there if you want to check them out. And then over here, they have Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Very cool, vadersabers.com. Definitely check them out. Thank you, guys. So here we have the Venerable Viking. And this is the Power Graphic Art and Rune Works. And then there's the QR code. See, there you go, guys. There's a QR code if you want to check them out. So over here, we have Venerable Viking. Uh, I do uh, sci-fi, fancy horror art. Uh, a lot of stuff that you can hang on your wall. I also do uh, like uh, role-playing game, D and D accessories. I do yep. dice trays, dice, uh, what we call like dice jails, and uh, things of that nature. A lot of people put us put these in a window or, or around a lamp or you can put them up in your car and they are uh, essential oil diffusers they have horror characters and you see like each one has like a heart so these are super super cool right there they also have a few of the crests from the different houses from harry potter so this looks awesome and then moving over here this is i'm guessing the dice trays right there so if you guys are big fans of D, &D you got they got custom dice trays moving over here we got red skull they have a bunch of really cool like properties that they made onto these these wooden panels so it's really cool to see at the r2d2 right there how you doing this is anthony at infinity comics and collectibles out of pembroke pines awesome nice oh you came from pembroke pines mm -hmm. south florida we're actually from miami All right, well i live, live in, i live in ocala and he lives in miami still yeah, but yeah, awesome we're from miami gardens area that's, that's my old hood nice <laughs> <laughs> nice nice all right, so going here, guys, they have a bunch of collectibles right here. They have the Bandai statues right there of the Demon Slayer characters. Ooh, we got Rengoku, Akaza. Awesome right there. And moving over here, they have some Dragon Ball Z. We have different Bandai statues right there of Demon Slayer characters. Here, they got a few of the plushies over here. And then moving to their Funko Pops. So let's see what Funko Pops they have here. So they have the Yuji Tsudori with the Hot Topic Expo sticker down there. They have the... um the civil war black panther that one's pretty cool i actually did not know very neko even had an exclusive so they have the mowgli uh from the jungle book right there so that's pretty awesome right then moving here they have an 8-bit mic fungal pop from target and then moving down there you got the lady loki they have the batman scythe um down there and then moving over here they have different collectibles so they got a bunch of marvel legends over here and moving on to this side is where i'm guessing they have all these comics right there and then they have more Marvel Legends characters here. And then they got some Power Rangers on this side. So it's pretty cool. Very nice little cabin area. All right, guys. So here we have Vilks Toys. And there's their website down there. So they actually create custom collectible minifigures in building sets. So these are pretty awesome. They have all their, I'm um, guessing, custom minifigures down there. And they come in this really cool packaging. And there they have the Chainsaw Man one. That is super cool to see down there. And then moving. Oh, they have a Beetlejuice one. They have a lot of, and then the mask down there. They got Daft Punk there too. These are super cool. And they got Stranger Things on that side, Demon Slayer sets, and One Piece. So these are pretty awesome. Completely, definitely check them out. 
So over here at the Artist Alley, they have the Hooded Fox over here. And they actually have a lot of really cool prints. We got Boba Fett there. We got Grogu. We got um, Johnny. Is that Johnny Depp as Dracula? Nice. Johnny Depp as Dracula. Over here, they have a beautiful house right there. They have a few stickers as well. And they actually have a canvas. So what I'm guessing is some of the prints are based off. And there you have a, a little Boba um, Grogu right there, which is awesome. And they have a few stickers. So this looks absolutely awesome. So definitely check them out right there. Hooded Fox on Instagram. All right, guys. So over here on this booth, it's Bunny Draws. And they have a lot of really cool um, stickers over here of the slashers, kind of like in this really cute form. And then over here, moving forward, they have actually these little prints over here, which is awesome. I mean, I absolutely love the Beetlejuice one right there. And they actually have some pins as well or some buttons. So definitely really cool here at the Bunny Draws. So check them out right there on Instagram. That is how you spell it. So here we have Cassandra Mangaka. And then you can go ahead and get their info right there to follow them. And then here they make a bunch of stickers and a lot of really cool prints right there. So we have a Sun Eater right there from My Hero. So this is pretty awesome. They make really cool. Um, they got Pokemon uh, stickers right there. All right, and then over here we have some Steven Universe prints as well and artworks. All right, so over here we got Resident Evil, we got Chainsaw Man. So yeah, definitely a really cool booth to check out. Here in this artist alley, we have Wolf Pie Creations. There's all their information right there if you guys want to check them out. They make amazing stickers right there. They got the Ghostface, Nezuko, they have Inosuke right there. You got um, Eddie Munson right there. So they have so many really cool um, prints and artwork. So here they have a few of their Pokemon ones right there. So they have uh, the Gengar is honestly my favorite. I love the Evolution line. The Eddie Munson is also pretty awesome. And then over here, they got some Naruto as well. So definitely come and check them out. There you go if you guys want to follow them right there. Are we going to be picking up one of these uh, stickers? These are pretty awesome. And they also have this My Hero Academia kind of like Halloween mashup. This one's super cool. It's honestly probably my favorite print out of here. And I don't know. The Gengar Evolution one's pretty cool too. Okay, guys. So here we have Matt from MA Sketchbooks. So these are pretty awesome prints. They kind of have like a bunch of like Dragon Ball mashups with different IPs. So it's honestly really cool. And then the artwork on some of these is awesome. We got Stitch right there. Um, this Dragon Ball. So there's like uh, Goku with um, the Sorcerer Apprentice. So this is pretty awesome awesome the collabs and then some of the prints that i've done that mickey mouse right there is really cool so if you guys want to check them out there is the uh website right there and all or his email so definitely go ahead and check them out so we got avatar the air um last airbender right there with the dragon ball z collab we got mario over here um misty from pokemon so yeah definitely very cool and awesome prints all right guys so here we have birds wood art and crafts so he makes a lot of this wood art right here by hand got star lord right there that's pretty awesome and then over here moving to the back i'm seeing the mandalorian one the daredevil one's pretty cool got um sonic right there the the trio and then we got the spider-man venom so these are honestly awesome these are all handmade um by bird over here so moving over here they got a bunch of like coasters that they create they have the chainsaw man right there that's like colored in so that one's super cool they got photo frames as well it does have an etsy so if you want to check it out uh search up the name right there over here these are the ones that are like 30 percent off for the event so these are also really cool we got the harry potter it's very well done the ghostbusters one back there so yeah definitely go ahead and check them out all right, so over here we got Got Caricature, and they make these really cool sculpts right here. And then if you want to go ahead and follow them on Instagram and Facebook, go ahead and check it out. They do custom orders as well. You got right there the low key, um, the elf right there. All right, we got Elton John right there. We have Hades, Maleficent. Um, moving over here, uh, Gaston, and then Bellatrix. So these are really cool. So yeah, definitely go ahead if you guys want to create custom ones. They also have the here's their info right there as well. Definitely check them out over here they also have a few like cosplayers so he's actually right now as a uh, zombie captain america from marvel zombies right there but this is all the cosplays that he has done over the years so it's pretty awesome hey how's it going man how are you up, man? nice nice i saw the full the full costume earlier and it was super cool man it's awesome all right guys so these are 3d printed masks so you got the uh, deadpool duck right there the deadpool mandalore helmet which is super cool the mandalorian helmet and the captain america shield so these are pretty awesome and you go to, i'm guessing to a bunch of conventions like megacon and stuff that's awesome awesome um, here in the Tampa Bay, Orlando, so. nice nice guys all right so yeah definitely check them out that talent guy pretty awesome all right guys i'm sweating it was super hot out but I, that about does it for us here at a popcon i'm gonna go ahead and get some food right now and then we're gonna head out we're obviously gonna end the vlog itself at my house when we get there so yeah um i mean overall the event was pretty good 
um definitely for a first event i think they did pretty good and then i just like the concept of everything it, everything was pretty spread out so yeah definitely cool one to check out i highly recommend it so we just had barbecue here at brock's florida barbecue and honestly this is some really good stuff guys gotta check them out they go ahead and they cater here in florida as well so instagram and facebook guys definitely check them out thank you guys so much and then over here we're about to get some coffee they do some donuts as well but we're gonna do coffee um today some iced coffee would be nice but yeah a really cute uh food truck over here all right guys so here is the donuts and real espresso right there so a uh, little food truck so definitely check them out there's their contact info really nice all right guys so with the uh coffee and the food in my system now it that about does it for us you're out popcorn it was a pretty good event overall i enjoyed it thought it was a good time so for the first one definitely pretty good no there are some areas for improvement but it's it's with anything with any anyone's first event so overall pretty good all right guys so this is actually sunday where we're ending off this video again it was a great event overall i can't wait to go next year to a popcorn definitely will be there i think the event is pretty good for its first run I'm excited for what they did. I think they are going to improve. They're going to learn from it and then go ahead and execute forward. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to leave a like on this video. Hit that subscribe button and comment down below. What was your favorite part of a PopCon that we showed you? And thank you very much, guys. And we'll see you guys on the next video.